So we will see the next concept. So far, we saw for uh, cost price, selling price given for single article, then for quantities different, and if only selling prices are given, only cost prices are given. So now we will see the concept, if only difference in selling prices is given. Say for example, a person sells a book and he incurs loss of 5%. So by selling a book, he incurs a loss of 5%. If he had sold it for 180 rupees more, So if we have sold for 180 more, so exact selling price is not given. So if we have sold it for 180 more, he would have got 4% profit. So if he had sold it for 180 more, he would have got 4% profit. So now what is the cost price is asked. So in this question, for some selling price, he incurs a loss of 5%. Say for example, if he had sold the book for 1000 rupees, he incurs a loss of 5%. If he had sold it for 180 more, that is 1180 rupees, he would have got profit 4%. So what is the cost price? So no selling prices are given, only difference in selling prices there. So that is SP2 minus SP1. So what is the difference in selling price? So if he sells rupees 180 more, so means difference in selling price is 180. And what will be this SP2? So SP2 is the one which gives 4% profit. So selling price is got by, in this cost price, 100 plus 4 by 100. Because it is profit, we add it with 100. And now what will be selling price 1? So it is in this cost price, so it is 100 minus 5 by 100. And the only clue which we have got from the data is difference in selling price is 180. Now substituting for SP2 and for SP1 and simplifying we get the cost price. So here cost price is asked. So now instead of substituting for SP2, SP1 and simplifying and getting the cost price, so whenever difference in selling price is given, so you can find the cost price by difference in selling prices by difference in profit percent. So what is the profit percent? So first, so when he sells for 180 more, the so profit is 4. Earlier he incurs loss 5%, so it is difference in profit percent, but if it is one profit the other loss, so we will add, so into 100. So substituting in this SP2 and SP1 and simplifying, so finally we will end up in this working. So instead of substituting in all this and doing the working, so here cost price is got by difference in selling price. So when you substitute here, so this 100 goes to the other side. So 180 into 100 and it is 4 minus, minus of minus it will become plus. So when difference in selling prices are given, so instead of working all this, we can find the cost price by writing the selling price in the numerator, difference in selling price in the numerator and in the denominator difference in profit percent. If it is one profit the other loss, then we will add. If both profit we will subtract or both loss we will subtract. So now what will be the cost price? So 2000 is the cost price. So whenever difference in selling prices is given, so instead of substituting in all this, so we can easily find the cost price by writing the difference in selling price by difference in profit percent. So here one profit, one loss, so we add for the denominator. Into 100 will give you the cost price. So we can see that 
So for many concepts we can use there where the concept, where difference in selling prices we get. Suppose a person gives discount 16%. So if he had given discount 36%, he would have lost by 400 rupees. So what is the cost price? So I told you that we can find the cost price when difference in selling prices are given by difference in selling price by uh, 180 is the difference in selling price and divided by difference in profit percents into 100. When one profit, one loss, we will add the value. So in this question, so they haven't given directly as a difference in selling price, but they have given when discount is 16%, he would have uh, sold it for one price and if he gives discount 36 percent he would have lost by 400. It means that though discount is given it means that difference in selling price is 400 and how he will get loss so when he sells for 400 less he will get loss uh, get a loss percent. So here discount 16 percent and this is also discount 13 percent. So how we can find the cost price? So write the difference in selling prices. The so loss value will be the difference in selling price. So this also means the same concept that is the loss value is difference in selling price. So to find the cost price, the difference in uh, selling price is the loss value. And what is the denominator part? It, it is difference in loss person. So discount means it is less, that is loss person. Subtract 36 minus 16, so it is 20 into 100. Now what will be the cost price? So here it is again 2000. So whenever you uh, read the text, when it means that difference in selling prices are given, so you can find the cost price directly by dividing the difference in selling price by difference in profit persons or loss persons into 100. So now instead of complicating the working, so you read the question, understand it. So here difference in selling price is given. So dividing it by the selling price and difference in profit person, so we have got the cost price. So we will see how to work out a question using this concept. So we will see the example. The question is, a person sells an article at the rate of 10% profit. If he had sold it at the rate of 15% profit, he would have gained by rupees 750. Find the cost price. So in this question, a person sells an article for some price, he gains by 10%. So if he had sold for 15% profit, he would have gained by 750, which means that if he had sold for 750 more, he would have got 15% profit. So this question also means the same. Difference in selling prices is given. And we have two different profit persons and cost price is asked. So we will see how to work out with the difference in selling price concept. So cost price is asked. So just by finding the, applying the difference in selling price by difference in profit person into 100, we can get the cost price. So he would have gained by 750 means, uh, it implies that if he had sold for 750 more, uh, that 750 value is difference in selling price. So what is the difference in profit percent? So if he had sold for 15 percent profit and the other one is 10 percent profit, so subtract the profit percents into 100. So here gain of 750 implies that difference in selling prices is 750. So 750 by 5 into 100 will give you the cost price. So cost price of an article is 15,000. So here we are by writing the, dividing the difference in selling price by difference in profit person into 100, we have got the cost price. So we will see the next concept.